Guess what, Tim? What? The Leafs, as you said, they were making some moves today. Other Canadian teams making moves? Mm -hmm. Were other teams in Canada making moves? It's time for more Insider Transactioning. Insider Transactioning, brought to you by Becker's. A two-liter jug of milk available now for $1.99. Becker's, what else do you need? Maybe that was the price in 1990. I'm not sure. I just read the liners, Tim. The sales department says, read this. I'm like, hey, I'm a team Don't player. Don't put this in the sales department. That was just it you. It was more marketing and branding, too. I'm not, I don't want to throw everyone I don't want to play place. another one of those. Listen, it was just made official moments ago. Alex Burroughs is a member of the Ottawa Senators. Burroughs waived his no-trade clause to allow the move, and according to our own Dan Murphy, has a two-year extension at $2.5 million dollars per season. Send sending 19-year-old prospect the other way, Jonathan Dallin. If you recognize the name, it's Alf Dallin's son. How big a move is this for the Ottawa Senators? Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's similar. It's bigger than the Boyle deal with the Leafs. I'll put, you, I'll put it to you that way. And, and Burroughs, again, is a guy who's played in the Stanley Cup final in his life before. He comes in with some experience. He gives him a fresh body. Listen, Hoffman and Stone are back with the team. That's a great sign. But as, as you could tell, sometimes the injury bug's going to crop up here, and you never know when it's going to hit. And I think Guy Boucher and company were just scared out of their mind there for a second. Now, with that said, Pierre Dorian's been given the green light by ownership, by Eugene Melnick, to kind of move this along here. They're still just two points back of the Montreal Canadiens for first in the Atlantic. Playoff games for the Senators matter this year. I like it. I don't mind it. I mean, still, it's a 19-year-old prospect. It's a little steeper than I'd like for a guy like Burroughs, who's 35 years old. But It's the same thing as the Leafs. Uh, I mean, it, it is, it is, but I, mean, I just, I, I'm, I'm more enticed by the Swedish kid who's 19 playing overseas right now than that's a guy a, like that's Byron a second, He was a second round pick. He was a second round pick, right. I'm more enticed, I think it's well, sexier to have a European player to trade <laughs> than Byron Fritz. The Leafs that's gave them a second round pick. Oh, I, I know what you're so saying. So they got Alex Burroughs, who has a ton of playoff experience. experience. He's, it's almost, it's similar to what the Leafs did, except it's a different body guy, right? I, 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 and potentially a better guy. Like, I, just, and I don't think the Sens are done here. You know, I think most people in Ottawa would say, listen, this is good. Uh, Pierre Dorian, you know, there's some ambitious vibes being sent out of his office ahead of Wednesday's well, trade it's, deadline. It's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ambitious vibes, all these things. Like, that's all well and good. We know what's happening here. Eugene Melnick wants playoff dates. Damn right he so does. He's said all along he wants to go to the playoffs. This team has not been shy about their attentions all the way through, and they add a guy that can help immediately and give them a possibility to live up to your expectations, and that is to win the division. It's, it's going to be interesting to win see him in the division. Win, win the division. Oh, yeah, they're two points out with two games in hand. And Ottawa and they Centers play have tonight. a chance here. And you, look, and you look at a guy like Burroughs with young players, too. Like, there, there are those who say he, he's had a big role in Bo, Bo Horvat becoming what he's become in Vancouver. This is a guy who can play with younger players, nurture them a little bit. I don't mind the move at all. All right, so let me bring this to Vancouver then. Does this signal yes, the start yes, of yes, something? Yes. Hold on, but don't say yes, 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 because people thought that this was going to happen last year. People thought that this was going to happen the year before. So is Yannick Hansen next? Yes, is Ryan right. Miller next? Ryan they, they don't right. have to be because they can just say no. They can, like yeah, Alex they can Burrell is like this situation, and Ottawa should be happy about that. They should be... Senators fans should be ecstatic that he wanted to go to this team. He wanted to make this move, and he also got two years and 2.5 million the five per million. season. The yeah. extra five million dollars helps making that decision for Alex Burroughs, no doubt about it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Um, I, I think I think the Vancouver Canucks are facing. I mean, aside from the medical situation they're facing right now, which yeah. is crazy, they're facing a reality, and the reality was even before the the mumps hit, this was not a team that looked like it was going to make the postseason, yeah. and I know Trevor Linden and, and, and all the guys there and Jim Benning have been, they've hedged their bets on this for a couple of seasons. I think you've got to face reality at this point. And if you do it properly, as we're seeing a couple teams in this country who've done it properly, some more inadvertently than others. <laughs> some took longer than the others. The Oilers took a couple of cracks at it. The Leafs yeah. got it done the way they wanted to get it done. What do you mean? They both got lucky and they both, they both hit got a, lucky. They both hit a franchise player in Connor McDavid True. and Austin Matthews. But the, the Oilers had like a 10-year shot at I'm that I'm just lottery interested wise. to see if Eric Goodbranson might be a part of this whatever the rebuild yeah. is. He's still young enough Vancouver. where I would say no, but uh, you, if, if they go full bore, you can never tell with Jim Benning and those guys. I know. It's, just, it's, it's because he was injured, it's difficult to put him into the mix. Um, 
I don't know if that's a part of the equation, but it's an interesting part, and I'm sure people are calling on Eric Goodbranson.